Hi everyone, my name is Nat Dunbar and I'm from Trouble by Bit and today we are interviewing Ricardo Medrano from the NEM Foundation. He is the Director of Partnerships for Hong Kong and Australia. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Very well, thanks. So can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and your role over at the NEM Foundation? Yeah. Uh, I'm from Spain. Uh, I moved to Australia almost one year ago and I started to work with different projects, uh, blockchain projects, uh, especially ICOs. And then I, uh, I know about them and I was invited to, to one uh, event, a special event, where they were presenting all the team. So at the time uh, I was there and I started to know more about them and then I start to work with them. So my role uh, basically is run meetups, uh, education and do partnerships and find companies who want to use them. Awesome. And how did you get involved with the NEM and their particular network and blockchain technology? Uh, I mean, I knew about blockchain. Uh, I mean, I knew about Bitcoin, but especially about blockchain two years ago, but I started to be into blockchain uh, like one year or one year and a half. And then when I started to, I mean, I, I learned about the technology. I, I, mean, I always like the new technologies and really passionate and geek about that. So it's a the use of technology. So yeah, I started to involve in these projects. And then when I found them, uh, I like the project. So I started to work with them. How does NEM differ from other cryptocurrencies or ZEM? Yeah, uh, we have a uh, difference. Uh, for example, uh, first one, uh, NEM is written uh, completely from scratch. It's not based in other cryptocurrencies or other programs. Its language is Java, but it's not, for example, that other cryptocurrencies is based in Bitcoin network or Ethereum. So it's completely, completely new. Another difference, we have APIs. Uh, so this is a big difference with other cryptocurrency. That means the developers don't need to waste time, time and money when they, they want to implement a solution for the company into the blockchain. So we have uh, APIs, so it's really easy and fast and secure for the companies and developers to implement the blockchain with us. Another difference is our consensus protocol. Uh, difference from Bitcoin or Ethereum, our protocol is proof of importance, so it's based in how much SEM are you holding in your nano wallet, in your NEM wallet, and also how many transactions are you doing. So the more SEM are you holding, uh, the most transactions are you doing, the most proof of importance you have, uh, you have more chance to get, uh, if you mining, more uh, mining more blocks and free SEM. And why do you believe in blockchain and digital currency? Um, you know, usually we, we use uh, bank accounts, Visa, uh, debit cards and, and now with the blockchain is a new step, for example. So it, I think financial institutions' payments is going to change completely. I pay with cryptocurrencies is going to be huge. Uh, transparency, of course, because uh, you, you can record information in the blockchain and you can delete it, you can change that. So this is going to change all the industry who needs to you know, record things and trackability and provenance as well. Um, and voting as well, imagine, uh, in some countries where the voting is, could be corrupted or manipulated. So with blockchain, you know what's going on. So you can manipulate and you know who is getting bought. So using blockchain, I think uh, for voting is gonna be huge. And what do you think about the integration of Zem with Travel by Bit? Yeah, I really, I really like the project. Uh, I believe um, payments with crypto, like I said, is going to be huge in the future. And these guys, uh, Travel by Bit, um, they're doing very well. Uh, they're promoting the business in, in Brisbane and Queensland. So imagine if you go to the uh, Brisbane airport and you come uh, spend uh, your money or your cryptos with, with goods, where you can pay your coffee, you can pay your accommodation, you can uh, f uh, book your flights with, with Travel by Bit. This is, this is we, we haven't seen that before. So Australia or Queensland, they have a lot of millions of visitors, uh, right? Every, every year is one of the most visited places in, in Australia. So imagine all the, all the tourists when they enter in the airport and see uh, NEM or the cryptocurrencies uh, advertising on, they can use uh, this for, for payments. I think it's going to be huge. And also for adoption for cryptocurrency, not only in the airport, but also in Brisbane or the rest of Queensland. Awesome. So what kind of people or organizations are using Zem right now and what are they using it to pay for? 
we are a fuel focusing enterprise solution, uh, but also, uh, as I said, we can use like a payment. Uh, so far, we have 400 companies uh, using uh, Miin, it's our private blockchain. Uh, most of them are in Japan. We have banks, and also we have, uh, for example, one famous company in Japan is Itachi. So they're using, they're using them. That's some examples. And I heard you paid for your trip here to Queensland yeah. with them. Yeah. And your hotel, uh, yeah. your stage, your airport transfers. Yeah. And word is that you actually bought a beer last night with your Zem. Do you think Zem's a good currency to make payments? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you compare it with the other currencies uh, using travel by bit, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, like on, uh, we are faster and we have less fees, so we are better. But the only not if I was really easy, it's really easy to use that. We have the wallet and it's really easy. And yeah, I'm impressed. The, I mean, since I arrived here, I was paying everything, the accommodation, the flights, the, the beers yesterday in the in the bar. So I'm, well, I'm super happy with that. I, I never did that before. I pay sometimes, but it's because it's really difficult to you know to to buy or, or use your cryptocurrencies in in the real life. So it's like you have to hold or trading, but. The cryptocurrency or blockchain is not for that. It's not for trading or for holding. It's for using. Yeah. And what do you think about Brisbane becoming Australia's biggest cryptocurrency airport in Australia and in the world, in fact? Well, I think this is awesome. Uh, nobody's doing that. So, like I said, uh, you have a lot of tourists here. And, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good example uh, for the rest of the world. And maybe because of that, Another airports or other companies start to do that, and the people start, you know, the mass adoption and you know, mainstream, and the people start to believe that the cryptocurrencies is, is the next step for payments. So I think it's a good idea, and uh, doing that in here in, in in Brisbane and Queensland, it's a good example in around the world because you know they have a lot of tourists, and a lot of people are gonna use in that.